the Monday monologue. This week, we're going to go over some cool things that I found that I really think that y'all will enjoy as far as future projects. And if anything stays the same, it's that I changed my mind. And one of the things, while I am moving forward with this EL84 push-pull amp, and we're going to get those monoblocks built, I think this is a cool little simple project that almost any of you guys should be able to duplicate this thing, especially if you're a little shy about doing it as a point to point. There is a circuit board available that you just populate, mount the chassis, and there you go. And while going that route this is not mono blocks, it's a integrated stereo amplifier, it still should sound very, very, very similar to what we're going to get out of this guy. So Anyway, if you haven't seen this series yet, please check it out. I'll link it below so you can check out this cool new build that we're doing. And another project that I just saw this week that I think is going to be really fun, I bought some output transformers to try something different with my 6BM8 amp. I originally built it with 10 watt ed cores and I was going to try and see what it sounds like building it with 15 watt ed cores and see what the difference in going from the 10 watt to the 15 watt but I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen it's going to have a little more bass and it's probably going to be a little punchier on a bigger chassis and do I really need to go through building that to know that I don't think so and I kind of like how cute the little small one that I built that's got solid state rectification and stuff. So I think I'm going to pass on that or maybe at least punt it down the road. But I saw a project that would work fantastic with those same output transformers. And it's a, another type of spud amp in that it only uses two tubes, but it uses compactron tubes. And they have a 14 watt pentode in them, which should give us some pretty solid power coming out of it. And so I thought that would be something cool to do. I know right now, especially with inflation and people's money might be a little tight as we're going through this gas price crunch that people are looking for less expensive projects to build. I bought a pair of these tubes for $10. And so this isn't going to be a real expensive project to build, especially if you have some output transformers laying around and going to build them as ultralinear spud, probably going to use a tube rectifier. But again, I may try to do a budget one and use solid state. I'll have to work out like the transformers I have and the voltage and see if I can put something together out of the parts I got here. So that's going to be something that... It's going to be unique. I don't think I've seen anybody even talking about using compactron tubes on YouTube. And so these 12 pin tubes were used in televisions and stuff near the end of tubes. And given that they're really not that popular, they can be bought super cheap. And I don't think there's any commercial amps that use them. And you guys know me. I like using oddball stuff. So that's probably going to be something I jump into right after this. And I haven't forgot about my 6P1 amp. And thank you for the viewer who sent me his amp for me to modify. I'm sorry this has taken so long, but I was pretty upfront about it that it might take a while to get that done. So hang in there. Still going to do that. Probably going to use my 6P1 amp to do the real kind of butchery on while I'm hacking it up, trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Not sure yet what I even want to do with it. There's a possibility it could be turned into a push-pull amp, swapping out some output transformers, and then it would really have some power. And may take what we learned from building this EL84 amp and apply it to that one and try to do something really cool with that. Don't know yet. So that's still in the works. One of the things that I was sharing on some of my earlier Monday monologues was cool music that I'd found. And while I don't think this is music that you can buy, and I'm almost 100% sure it's not on vinyl, 
but it is on YouTube. And it's something I just stumbled across. I was watching the Marvel series, Miss Marvel, and saw in the credits, the end song was from this group that recorded for Coke Studio. And if you've never checked out the Coke Studio YouTube channel, which I'll link below, season 14, there's a song, Peachy Hut. These two girls are insane how good they sound harmonizing. And it's really cool to hear kind of modern hip-hop type music coming out of Thailand. And there's some traditional Thailand music and a whole variety of just really great artists. I've been listening to season 14. Obviously, if there's season 14, there's years of content from all over the world that are done by this Cook Studio YouTube channel. So... That's the tip for the week. Go to this link. Go check out the Coke Studio International Showcase YouTube channel. It's some crazy good music. And it's something that I've been trying to do myself is looking for music that's really different. That's you know, not like just your normal jazz or your normal rock and roll or that kind of stuff. Looking for some real out-of-the-box music. Guys, this is it, so make sure you check that out. Another thing that will be really helpful if you're a regular viewer, I don't do Patreon and I don't gate any of my content, but this hobby does cost money. And for me, building stuff that, like, I don't need these pair of amplifiers. I'm building this stuff for content for the channel for you guys to enjoy. And if you're enjoying watching this or if been using some of the information that I show you, I'd really appreciate going to my website and making a donation. Even if it's only $5 or $50 or whatever you feel like giving, it would help me, A, be motivated to make more content, and B, help me offset some of the cost of building these projects that I'm putting together for you guys to watch. So if you don't mind, that'd be super nice. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. The more subs, the more this gets out. They use the algorithms to, you know, make suggestions to people based on how many subs a channel has. So if you haven't subbed yet and you watch this content, please sub. Please like the video. And I think that's a wrap for this week's Monday Monologue.